One is the loneliest number. Well, that might be because the New Orleans Saints are sitting at the top of the NFC South all alone right now. One is also the magic number. The Saints need one win to clinch the division and put themselves in a pretty good spot for the postseason. Bottom line is we, we control our destiny right now, you know, and we, we win this game, we win the division, and that's the first step, um, first goal that we set for ourselves this season was to accomplish that, and then, and then we'll worry about the next goal. But, uh, yeah, that's significant. Like you said, you know, this division has been one where <laughs> it's highly competitive, you know, and, and each and every year it seems like there's a different team or sets of teams that are all fighting for it at the end, and then, you know, one of them, one of us gets it. But, uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be a big, big first step is, is win the division with the, with the win this week. That week one game against Tampa Bay feels like so long ago, doesn't it? Well, both teams went in completely different directions after that. Of course, the New Orleans Saints took that loss, then went on a 10 game win streak. The Tampa Bay Bucks now are five and seven. But regardless of both teams records, both teams look relatively similar to that week one game. I mean, obviously, they've always been an explosive offense. Um, you know, Jameis, like you said, Jameis is playing, you know, really well right now. And, uh, and if they're able to, you know, obviously, you know, not have any turnovers and move the ball the way they, they've been known to move it, uh, they present a problem. So, uh, for us, it's going to be about going and doing what we do. Obviously, new defensive coordinator. Um, so, I'd say, I mean, for the most part, the scheme is, is, uh, is the same. I think those guys are playing really well uh, right now. Uh, last last two weeks, especially, um, get, been getting a bunch of takeaways. Um, they do a really good job getting pressure with their front four. Um, that's always been a strength of that team and continues to be. Um, so they're they're playing really well right now. Another win on Sunday could be one step closer for the Saints to be big game bound. Reporting in Metairie, I'm Ashley Otis.